So these guys are about uh, three days old. Uh, they were born on the uh, 20th. So, well, they make them four days old. So, uh, very active. Uh, actually, uh, very good free range uh, broiler birds. Uh, they'll stay active uh, up, up through 12 weeks uh, of age. So I'm really I'm really happy with these. Uh, I think uh, I think the choice of bird uh, is is really good for quality wise. A, a happy, healthy bird is what I'm after. So today these guys are 10 days old. Uh, they I don't know if you can tell from the last video if you watched they have grown quite a bit in 10 days the wings are starting to feather out a little bit they're very active uh, just super healthy looking chicks uh, they won't last long at all in this brooder uh, they'll be ready to uh, to get out of here so I'm gonna have to do some prep work ASAP to get their other quarters ready for them to, to be out uh, and about. They're very active. Uh, the the uh, Cornish Cross, uh, not so active. Most of them, uh, I, I wish I had gotten some to raise alongside these so you could see the difference between the two, the activity versus just sitting in front of the feed and eating. Uh, so big difference in the two. Uh, but let me get uh, let me get going here. I've got some cage cleaning to do, and then we'll get. These are the Freedom Rangers. Uh, they're working on about uh, oh four weeks old. I moved them in here. Uh, I really haven't determined where I'm going to build a permanent house for the meat chickens yet. But uh, so now they're temporarily. These guys are going to be in here. But as you can see, they're really active birds, uh, which I like. They like to they like to roam around, so that's good. These guys are uh, tomorrow will be five weeks. Uh, they at present. Oops, excuse me. I bumped into something. Uh, they weigh uh, weighed a couple of them. They weigh right at two pounds. Uh, some of them 1.79 pounds. Uh, well, some of them two, uh, a little bit better than two pounds. Uh, so they're coming along a really nice. Uh, as you can see, still very mobile, uh, roaming around everywhere. So something something I really uh, really like about them. Uh, probably next weekend uh, I'll have their uh, their grass area set up uh, so they can get out and uh, get some greens. Uh, I've been uh, I've been kind of uh, watching them pretty close. These guys uh, uh, will be a tasty meal for somebody. Uh, if I uh, if I don't uh, protect them, so uh, they've got to uh, got to have a special area they can get out in and be protected from aerial aerial predators. Uh, I can keep them protected from uh, coyotes, etc. But uh, uh, the aerial predators are, uh, are are the ones that will get them for sure. <laughs> 